Contrary to popular belief, this review is not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Seeing that I've gone down this path of gacha games, this was the best candidate for my next game to tackle. I'm certain you know a lot of people who sponsor this game and call it the most ambitious mobile game of the century and I'm here to tell you, your instincts are right. The game is nowhere close to that level of greatness, but it is, strangely enough not entirely bad either. When you first enter the game, you're introduced to the four main characters, an orc, an elf, a mage, and a knight, all of which have been seemingly forced to become allies to defeat an ancient evil demon lord or something along those lines. Very generic plot from the get-go, until the elf lady gets eaten by a fucking dragon and the rest get incinerated in 5 seconds. I'm actually not gonna lie, that was actually a pretty damn well choreographed opening sequence until the Arbiter from Halo 3 tells you she can only revive one of them to become your starter. Arbiter what the fuck, I want the big titties. No way chief I'm taking the big guy cause he looks strong. Fuck you Arbiter you suck. According to some very nice people in the chat, I joined in at a wonderful time during a 7 day login campaign that gives me the 5 star R tag. Who well, I will have to simply wait for 7 days before going into. The first time you head into the loot box opening to get new characters, you'll find out that you can't simply roll gacha like any other Japanese, Korean or Chinese gacha game. You need to buy the actual crystals with your wallet, some of which come with increased SSR chances. And Raid Shadow Legends in those 5 minutes of gameplay have already defeated every single gacha game I've played, from FGO to Honkai Impact to Genshin Impact as THE worst gacha I have ever witnessed. The story is bare bones with a small cutscene that plays at the end of each level after the first one, which follows the same trend of being sent out to a new location followed by introducing the monsters in the location and then having you fight through about 10 stages of monsters to go to the next location. And surprisingly enough, for this seriously short story segments, they ha actually had me intrigued enough to actually continue the story. Maybe it's the fact there is no story at all that makes these small slivers of dialogue all the more interesting in this game, but I think less story and heading right into the action is better than a terrible story. Raid Shadow Legends. And here comes the shocker. The gameplay isn't actually too bad. It's turn based combat with 3 abilities per character as everyone takes turns to hit each other, which includes 2x speed mode and auto battling to streamline the game, of which you'll be using for basically most of the game. The models actually look pretty impressive for a mobile game and I can see how people can enjoy the grind in this game with the auto battling and just watching the units run across the screen. The character models do look a bit stiff when you look closely enough, but the boss and monster variety is actually quite good for a game like this. And I've skipped about 7 days of waiting so that you don't have to watch me review this game a second time in a row. So I now have the almighty R-Tag. And Artek is the shit, you guys. All my non 5 star units have like 7 bars of HP, and look at this, my man Artek has 17 bars in his HP bar. The 5 stars in this game are totally built different and absolutely busted in a good and bad way. The good thing is, Artek's free until sometime in July 2023, so he's free to play friendly until the promotion ends at least. The bad thing is that it gives players a glimpse of the power discrepancy between the 5 stars and the 2 to 3 stars that you're limited to with the abundant-ish green gacha loot boxes that basically only get you up to about a rare. And this simply trivializes the entire gacha loop entirely when a character is this busted at level 1. I leveled him up further and he is so disgustingly broken I actually needed a shower after playing him. And Artek does full AoE damage as well, so of course, he does so much damage that the kids, the great grandkids, the great 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 grandkids of all the enemies that he attacks will literally feel the pain of that attack. Explore and fight. Even if the gameplay loop really isn't too bad, you're plagued with aggressive marketing of constant pop-ups every single freaking time you leave battle and go into town. I appreciate the memes incorporated into these pop-ups telling me to spend 50 USD on gold crystals and gems to roll gacha, but it's not a good look for raid when the devs are clearly begging you to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on their game for 5 star units that are clearly going to be busted like our tech. Shadow In order to improve the game further though, I really just want to give some genuine advice to Raid's devs instead of getting annoyed like any other person over the flaws of this game. And my simple recommendation is to simply upgrade the game font. 
From a game design perspective, Raid uses one of the most generic fonts known to mankind in their entire UI, and you'd think they'd use a fancier font outside of the same stuff you use in a school essay, and it makes the game look extremely cheap, despite the decent character models. At least until you look at the female faces. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no. I've played enough gacha games to know that people are after cute and bouncy waifus, and you have to say, this is nothing a full face medieval helmet can't fix. But the costumes might just be spicy enough to get most of the internet excited anyway. Raid. It even costs in-game currency, the coins, to take off armor pieces. Or they can be destroyed at no cost. Not a huge problem at first glance, but it's a lot worse when you think about it. It's like telling someone they need to pay $5 to take off their clothes and wear new ones. Or simply let their old clothes disintegrate into dust the moment they try to take it off. Also, watch me burn through 300,000 coins in the span of 2 minutes on enhancements that have a chance of failure. because. It reminds me of the good days of Elsword and failing weapon enhancements, which reminds me, if you do want me to talk about Elsword someday, do let me know as well. It's just plain obvious that they're trying to burn out your coins so that you can buy more with your wallet since coins can even be bought with your credit card. Shadow Raid. You already know the verdict's gonna be low though, but how low can it get? About 3 out of 10. Raid Shadow Legends is an average game, pulled down a couple of points by its monetization design, aggressive marketing of overpriced microtransactions, and a worse gacha than even the likes of the worst gachas known to mankind, like Genshin and Fate Grand Order. To be seriously honest, Raid, if not for how many times I've seen you advertise a gem pack for 50 plus USD or more, I'd otherwise have given Raid about a 5 out of 10 as a fairly average game with some seriously decent models and gameplay loop that actually surprised me. And it still continues to surprise me even as I discover new areas in the game and bosses with crazier designs. I guess you really do get what you pay for in the end, which is the silver lining of this game as far as getting SSR units goes, but I would 100% play something else. I've just looked back at my records and I found that I've spent about maybe a total of 500 USD on FGO in the entire 6 years of playing, and I've got about easily 30 plus SSRs in the game. Raid gives a single golden loot box with a 13% chance for an SSR for the price of up to even 30 to 40 USD based on the cost. If you do the math, I'd have to recommend FGO over Raid any day. Because if FGO is the worst of the gacha hells I've seen so far, then Raid has to take the crown as the new king of gacha hell. <laughs> and finally, this is all I have to say about Raid Artak Legends, and of course, as always, stay safe. Stay humble. And I like the part where Artek shouts, It's raiding time! And Shadow Legends us the enemies. Truly a moment in gaming. This is the Artek Knight, and we will see you, Artek.